Thank you. Well, we're discussing the quite frightening topic of the food safety standards of meat that comes from Brazil. And it really is astonishing to hear that labs in Brazil are prepared to fiddle results, to say that meat is safe when they know very well that it isn't safe. So I don't normally like thanking the Commission, but I think one has got to on this occasion. They have at least brought this to light. Now, for every exporter, there has to be an importer. And although my colleague, um, Mr. Flanagan, has said, well, who in his right mind is going to eat this? Obviously, somebody does. And the Commission would know who are the importers of Brazilian meat. They're going to be, they will exist. Somebody has to pay the Brazilian government. And obviously one senses in this committee some fear of cheap imports. That isn't surprising. And it does mean that labelling needs to be better so the consumer actually understands what they're eating. And we need to persuade the, the major retailers of the benefits of home-produced beef and make that a selling point, try and shame them into not selling beef where they think lab results might, might be fiddled. There is some scope here because the one thing you can do about imports is point to food safety, threats to human health. So could the Commission please let me know who is actually buying this meat? Thank you. The question relating to um, the laboratories. Um, it's indeed, and, and this is mentioned in my introduction, uh, it was clear that the fraud identified that certain lab results were uh, tampered with. Uh, on the same side, on, at the EU side, we have, as I said, this 100% checks for products of animal origin, and we do this uh, increased controls. We have these reinforced checks of 20% where we do laboratory analyses for salmonella. And why for salmonella only? Because this was mainly linked to the findings of the, uh, and the link uh, of the fraud which was focused uh, on the poultry, where, uh, of course, we have uh, specific rules relating to salmonella, both in fresh meat and in poultry meat preparations. So that's why the Commission, on top of the certification which has been done by the uh, Brazilian authorities, we also impose these additional 20% checks at the border to verify the consignments which enter with the certificate and to ensure that these uh, certificates are genuine and also uh, comply with the, the, the results comply with the reality. On the number of imports, um, the question uh, who is asking, it's difficult for me to respond, but I can only respond to the data which I have in front of me on the imports. And if I look to the imports and these dates from 2016, then we see if we look all meat together, and then we including both horse meat, bovine, and poultry, then we come to a total of 575,000 tons. If you look, of course, then to the consumption, which is also important, of course, in the EU, then we come to data that the overall consumption, when, and then also combining all the uh, species, both cheap beef, poultry, and pork, then we come to 400, uh, uh, 43 million tons. So it, I think it's important just, but who is eating it, at, I cannot say. But at least I can say that this, there is apparently a demand, and this, uh, compared to the overall consumption, I think it's also uh, quite limited if you compare the overall consumption in EU of beef and the imports which coming from Brazil, all species uh, combined.